Hey hunters, Kristen for guns.com. We are out here on our shooting range to talk to you about one of the most important parts about preparing for your turkey hunt. And believe it or not, that doesn't take place in the turkey woods. It happens right here on the range. What we're talking about is how to pattern your turkey shotgun before the season happens. And now is a great time to do that. Why do we do that? This is not just for new hunters or for hunters with a new gun. This pertains to experienced hunters, seasoned hunters, or novices alike. In order to be ethical and responsible hunters, we need to know where our gun shoots so that we can make a clean kill on the turkey. It's not that often that you get a shot at that moving turkey head on a trophy tom, so we wanna make sure we know where our gun shoots and be right there at the correct range, know where our ammo shoots, know where our choke is patterning, and we're gonna do that with the patterning board behind us. It's really important that we may start from the shooting bench and know where our gun shoots but then you want to finish up and take a couple shots how you'll be in the field. Will you be shooting against a tree? Will you be in a blind? This year we're shooting with the Alps small deception blind and the vanished chair which is a little different angle. So before I finish I'm going to get down in the chair in the blind, take a couple shots and see has my point of impact changed as I change my position. I really want to cover all the different scenarios. You never know where those wily toms will pop out and I want to be ready and make a clean shot. So where do we start? With a turkey target. If you don't want to spend the money on picking up some of these shoot and see type of targets, draw your own, print one off online. It's just important that you really know the anatomy and know that we want to shoot for that midpoint on the neck. That's where you want the center of your pattern, regardless of the range you're at. We want to have enough pellets in there to make a lethal clean kill. All right, we've talked targets. Now it's time to get down to business and talk about the gun. The gun we're going to use today is the Mossberg 835 Special Purpose. This has the Bottomlands camo. It's a pump. It takes two and three quarter, three inch, three and a half inch, which opens up the whole realm of specialty turkey ammo that you can use. The ammo is one thing and the choke is another. Now, because that's in a 12 gauge and we're going to be shooting some of the heavier ammo, we'll start patterning around the 30 yard mark. We'll back up to 40, we'll back up to 50. We may even try 60, but that's really stretching the length of any ammo, even in a three and a half inch. And I've had this happen to myself. You're prepared for the long shot, but that turkey is gonna pop out at 10 yards or 15 yards. So I always like to take one close shot to know just how tight that ultra full choke is gonna put me when that bird pops out. You may have a tight pattern and we don't wanna miss that nice close shot in the decoys. We started out shooting from the bench to know where our gun shot with a solid rest. But as we mentioned earlier, it's really important to get down in the position that you'll be shooting in the woods. In our case, we'll be in the deception blind with the Alps Vanish chair. For the purpose of this video, we ditched the blind so that you could see what we're doing. But we're down in this chair. It's a little different position. It's a different way of wielding the gun. So we want to make sure our point of impact hasn't changed. We're at 30 yards here. We have some federal third degree turkey. We know this grouped excellently from the bench, but we want to see what's going to happen from the chair. So I'm going to load this up and see where we're at, kind of get comfortable, and I know what to expect when that tom comes out. If I can get a solid rest, I'm quite comfortable here. And I can see on my target, I'm a hair low, but that's a devastating kill with this ammo. And I know how it feels being in the chair. I know where I need to be with the gun to be ready. So being at the patterning board really serves a couple purposes of just being prepared for your hunt and knowing what to expect. Will my jacket get in the way? Does my chair have a squeaky leg? What can I do to really be the best hunter I can be, be ethical and get that tom for the wall and some fresh turkey for the freezer? So we're gonna go check out our target and see how we did. Now this is my first shot on the turkey target from sitting in that really low Alps vanished chair which is giving me just a slightly different point of aim when I'm in a little more crunched up position. So you see my pattern is hitting a little bit low. So what I would do is go back to that spot, shoot another one and see, am I pulling that shot slightly down with my position or do I need to shoot a little bit higher when I'm shooting from that way? Because right here, right where the point is on the turkey, you want to be in the center of that neck. Certainly I have enough pellets here in the head and in the neck that this would be a dead turkey, but to be really ethical, I want the meat of this pattern to be moved right up over here. We've now backed up to about 50 yards, which we're considering to be 
our maximum comfortable safe range with this particular gun and choke. We have some Federal Grand Slam ammo, which we know has been patterning really well from the bench, but we're going to give it a try from our chair. Um, one of the things you need to consider when you're hunting here is what kind of choke you have in your gun. We have the extra full turkey. If you have interchangeable chokes, you may need to make some changes to find what works for you. It may not be extra full. It may be a mod with some of the new specialty ammo. It may be an extra full even at further ranges. And if you have a fixed choke in your gun, then you need to adjust yourself instead of adjusting that choke. You may need to be closer. You may need to consider different ammo. Not all ammo will shoot the same in everyone's gun. That's why it's important that we get out here and know where we're shooting. So we're gonna load this up here at 50 yards, see how we're doing from our chair and see where this patterns with the Federal Grand Slam. Here we go, we're getting in position just like we would be if that gobbler was coming out. I think we have a dead turkey, but we're going to take a walk down and see what that pattern looks like. Make sure we have a dense enough pattern at 50 yards to do what we need to do in the field. Now this is one of our 50 yard targets, and while this bird is probably dead, this is not really what we want to see from a responsible standpoint. The brunt of our pattern is down here. We want that in this area. We want to see, they say, 12 to 15 pellets should be in this neck region and head region. You know, we have a couple. I like to have a couple dozen in there. I like this pattern over here. So that means a little more time, maybe different ammo, maybe a different choke. Maybe you have to hold slightly higher. In my case, I'm going to hold a little left and a little high. So I know when I see that turkey come out, instead of putting my bead here, I'm going to be up over here. I hope you enjoyed our how-to on patterning your turkey gun. If you did, head over to guns.com for the full review where we provide more tips and techniques on getting that pattern just right. Like it and share it with your friends. And until next time, I'll be heading out to the turkey woods and hope you'll be doing the same. Good luck and stay safe on your hunt.